Hello, and thank you for joining us today in Far Above Rubies. I'm so very glad that each of you are here. Today, we are kicking off lesson six in our Bible study called Uncovered, and we will be talking about the theme of the history of Israel. We will be specifically covering the topics of taking the promised land, leadership in Israel, civil war, captivity, and return from exile. Today, we are digging into the topic of taking the promised land. Once the Israelites were delivered from Egypt and given God's holy law, their next step was supposed to be uh, going into the promised land that God had said he would give them. However, instead of overtaking the already occupied land through their faith in God, they began to complain and uh, doubt God's leadership. And that was a big big mistake. As a punishment for their doubt and constant complaining, the Lord caused them to wander in the Sinai desert for 40 years so that instead of the Israelites seeing the promised land, only their children would see it, the scripture says. Complaining and, and doubt are two things that God despises. We can see it from beginning of the scripture to the end. Complaining and doubt negate trust. They negate faith. They negate thanksgiving and a heart filled with gratitude and um, love and praise and adoration for God. It goes against the, the character and the nature of God. Sometimes we keep ourselves from receiving blessings that God has for us because we doubt God's ability and we complain about the journey on the way to our promise. If that doesn't speak to you, that's okay. It speaks to to me. And it's true. After 40 years of wandering, the Israelites would be led to conquer the promised land through an anointed man of God uh, named Joshua. And we're going to read Joshua chapter 1 verses 1 through 9 now to get a peek into that situation. It says this, after the death of Moses, the Lord's servant, the Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' assistant. He said, Moses, my servant is dead. Therefore, the time has come for you to lead these people, the Israelites, across the Jordan River into the land I am giving them. I promise you what I promised Moses. Wherever you set foot, you will be on land I have given you. From the Negev wilderness in the south to Lebanon mountains in the north, from the Euphrates River in the east to the Mediterranean Sea in the west, including all the land of the Hittites. No one will be able to stand against you as long as you live, for I will be with you as I was with Moses. I will not fail you, and I will not abandon you. Be strong and courageous, for you are the one who will lead these people to possess all the land I swore to their ancestors I would give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all all the instructions Moses gave you. Do not deviate from them, turning either to the right or to the left. Then you will be successful in everything you do. Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord, your God, is with you wherever you you go. Under the leadership of Joshua, the Israelites would take their land one city at a time. They were able to do this because God went before them and drove out their enemies. Did you hear God tell Joshua like three or four times, be courageous? He was telling Joshua, this is going to be an adventure. This is going to be an undertaking. This is going to be something you cannot do by your own might or your own power or your own ability. But if you can be courageous, if you can muster up the courage to follow me, I will go before you and we will take this land. Exodus chapter 23 in verse 30 says, little by little, I will drive them out from before you until you have increased and you inherit the land. God is faithful to fulfill his promises. We might not, it, we might not receive those promises the way that we think that we should in the timing that we think we should receive them. Maybe even by the method or circumstances we think we should receive them, but God will fulfill his promises. Okay. Israel had finally become an official nation in their own land, which was was divided up into the 12 tribes of Israel. And we remember those 12 sons of Jacob who was renamed Israel. Those 12 sons had many sons and daughters of their own and they became each a tribe in the nation of Israel and it works that way to this day. 
they can tell you they are from the tribe of, they're descended from the tribe of, okay? God does exactly what he promised. He took them to the promised land and we're going to learn about their experience and their journey in that promised land in the days ahead. You do not want to miss this. If you've missed lessons prior to this in this Bible study called Uncovered, make sure you go back and catch up because there's some great foundational information for the word of God that you will not want to miss. Okay. I will see you all again tomorrow as we discuss leadership in Israel. Make sure that you're here. I will see you then. If no one has told you lately, you are loved and you are cherished and you are valuable. You have beautiful and tremendous worth, my sweet friend, and that worth is far above rubies. Thank you for being here today. I'll see you all again tomorrow. God bless you.